Hey there, this is Mehdi from stronglives.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to squat I'm also going to show you the number one mistake you must avoid when you squat if you want to gain strength and muscle while losing fat and without enjoying your knees. But first I want to talk about why the heck you should squat in the first place. So, uh, here you can see me doing a squat, it's pretty simple, you get inside the power rack, always use free weights of course and uh, then you're just going to walk back with the bar on your upper back and you're going to squat down like this and you come back up, so it's pretty simple. Now, most guys, and that's usually the guys who are like stuck with this muscle magazine split routine mindset of training only one body part a day, they are usually going to think of the squat as a leg exercise. And of course, the squat, it does work your legs because as you can see here, they're the prime movers to, uh, responsible to move the weight up and down. However, there's a lot of other muscles which are also working when you squat. For example, here you got your lower back and there you got your abs. Well, both of these have to work hard when you squat because otherwise, I mean, you would just tip over to the front or to the side or to the back. Uh, all of that is possible, but none of it is happening. Why? Well, because your lower back and your abs, they're both working hard to keep you from collapsing under the weight. Uh, that's actually how you get like a strong lower back and, and six pack abs from, from doing the squat because these muscles have to work hard to keep you from collapsing under the weight. So the squat, yeah, it is a leg exercise in that sense that it does work your legs, but there's a lot more to it. It also works your lower back here and your uh, and your abs. It even works your arms, uh, because what is this here? Well, that's the bar, and what is holding it? Your arms are holding it, and we do a heavy squat. You're going to be squeezing that bar hard, which is automatically going to tighten your forearm and your upper arm. So indirectly, the squat also gives you like arm work, which is of course going to help you to build uh, bigger arms. Um, so the squat is really a whole body uh, exercise, a full body exercise that works your whole body as one piece and that works it with heavy weights. That's why if you want to develop overall strength that is usable outside the gym and you want to build lean muscle while losing fat by burning the maximum amount of calories and want to accomplish all of that without using drugs or steroids and without spending your life in the gym, well then you really have to squat. So with that out of the way, uh, let's not talk about the biggest squat mistake you got to avoid. Um, the number one thing you got to remember when you squat is you got to make sure that you hit parallel on each rep. What does that mean, hitting parallel? It means that when you get into the bottom position, you got to make sure that when looking from the side, uh, your knee joint, which is here, and your hip joint, which is there, well, your hip joint has to, be, has to go lower than your knee joint. Okay, hip joint has to go lower than your knee joint. That means hitting parallel. Every single rep that you do when you squat, it always should be one that hits parallel. Always with your hip joint going lower than your knee joint. Now, um, in your gym, you're not going to see a lot of guys who are going to be doing the... Well, in your gym, you're not going to see a lot of guys who are going to be doing the squat uh, in the first place because most of them are just like captain upper bodies who are uh, like training all the time, only doing their, their arms and their chest and, and, and their reps and that's it. Uh, never training their legs. That's what most guys are doing. But a few guys will probably be squatting in your gym and what they usually will be doing is they will be doing this, like this quarter squats or half squats, whatever you want to call it, where the weight is going to go, like they're going to be like this slow and then they're immediately going to go back. They're never going to be hitting parallel like I told you. So this part they're not going to be doing. They're just going to go like this slow and then back up. A quarter squat or half squat. Uh, there's two reasons why they do this. Uh, I'm going to explain to you the two reasons. The first reason is, is the one that you're going to be hearing the most probably during the next coming weeks and months, so watch out with it. The first reason is that they believe that if you are going uh, to hit parallel when you squat, that you're going to ruin your knees. So, first reason is they think that, or they believe that if you're doing parallel squat, that you're going to be hurting your knees. And quite frankly, that's all bullshit. You're not going to hurt your knees at all if you hit parallel on the squat. It's actually better for your uh, for your knees. It's healthier for your knees. And it's actually going to build strong knees if you hit parallel on the squat. So it's the, the complete opposite of what they're saying. Um, the reason why is because uh, this is going to explain what happens. So when you do like the quarter squat or the half squat, which is like something like this, so you're going this low and never going lower, what happens is that your muscles on the front, the quadriceps, that is going to get stronger. And the muscle on the back, which is um, your posterior chain, so your hamstrings and your glutes, they're not going to get stronger at all. So you get your quadriceps is going to get strong, but the muscles on the back, they're not going to get strong. So what happens here is the quarter squat or the, or the partial squats or the half squats, they're going to they're gonna get you a muscle imbalance, which is how you start getting knee pain over time. On the other hand, if you're actually going this low, so doing 
parallel squat, which again, here is your knee joint, there is your hip joint, and you're going to be doing this, so with your hip joint, which is uh, which goes right below your knee joint. When you do this, what happens is your quadriceps is going to get stronger, but here, the other side, your posterior chains, your hamstrings, your glutes, they're also going to get stronger because they get stretched into this position, so they get worked, and everybody who anybody who has done a... Uh, uh, heavy squats hitting parallel, he knows that uh, that soreness in, in these muscles here is quite common. So, um, what happens here is when you do these parallel squats, your quadriceps is going to get stronger, but the other side is also going to get stronger, your posterior chain also. And so you get an evil muscle development of your thigh muscles, which as a result is going to make your knees stronger. It's going to increase stability at your knee joint. And it's actually going to make... Uh, it, so it's, it's actually the complete opposite of what they're saying. It's not going to hurt your knees at all. It's actually going to improve the, the health of your knees by doing this. Um, if you don't want to believe me, um, I've been personally doing squats for 13 years just like this, always hitting parallel on every single rep, been squatting like this like every single week, usually several times a week for 13 years, uh, going parallel, sometimes even lower than parallel, or, although that's not really necessary, and my knees are perfectly fine. And this isn't because I'm some genetic freak or whatever. I mean, you can see it here on the video. Look how tiny the wrists are. Uh, same with my ankles. I'm not built to be big or strong or whatever. Uh, when I grab my wrist, I can actually overlap my middle finger with my thumb. That's how tiny my wrists are. So some people, they would actually categorize me as a, as a heart gainer. So I'm not built to be big or strong or whatever. Uh, I wasn't born with like strong joints, and if anybody should hurt his knees uh, by by from hitting parallel on the squat, well, I should be the first one. And yet this hasn't happened, which is proof that this is perfectly safe and that it's actually better for your knees than doing that, that bullshit that most guys are doing, which is those quarter squats and those half squats. Um, if you need more proof, uh, I'm going to pause the video here. Here is a picture of Arnold Schwarzenegger. And you can see it here, um, that's Arnold Schwarzenegger, like, um, squatting, what is this, 200 kilos, which is 440 pounds, with Dave Draper looking on the side. Few people know this, but Arnold Schwarzenegger was actually a competitive uh, strength athlete before he became a bodybuilder, uh, and before he, uh, he won the Mr. Olympia seven times. And here you can see him doing a squat with his hips clearly going lower than his knees when looking from the side. He's using a wooden block also. I don't have the time here to explain you why he's doing it, but don't worry about it. You don't need it. I'm not using one either. The point is that his hips are going lower than his knees when looking from the side. Uh, I mean, even babies do this when they pick something up on the floor. Every single baby will do that naturally, sitting in that bottom squat position with uh, his hips going lower than the knees. And uh, I mean, common sense tells you that a baby would naturally be doing this if it was unhealthy for the knees. I mean, your body just wouldn't go there. So the fact that you're actually doing this naturally when you're a baby is, is additional proof that this is perfectly healthy. Um, like I said, there's like two reasons why people do this, like uh, not wanting to hit parallel. The first one is this this uh, stupid belief that it's bad for the knees. But the second one is that going lower automatically means that the exercise is going to be more challenging. Uh, the reason for this is that the range of motion is a lot longer. When you're going lower, uh, let me pull that back here a little. Uh, let's go with the thing here. Where is it? Okay, when you go like this low, up doing a partial or a quarter squat like most people doing, I mean, the range of motion is really only this. While where you're going to hit parallel, well, now the range of motion is this. You get all of this on top. So it's it's longer and therefore it's harder, which means that the same way that you were able to lift in that quarter, quarter position, in that quarter squat position, you're not going to be able to lift it if you're going to go parallel. And... Um, that's actually why a lot of guys, they don't want to do like the, the partial squats with their knees, with their hips going lower than their knees, is because they know that if you do that, they're going to be able, they're, they're going to have to lower the weight that they're using. And I mean, their ego just prevents them to do that. Um, of course, that's the ironic thing is that everybody knows that if you go lower, that the exercise is going to be harder. And everybody also knows that if the exercise is more challenging, that it's going to be better for building strength and building muscle and burning fat, which is the reason why, again, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he was hitting parallel on each rep. Why? Well, because he knew that he was going to get better results that way. And I mean, this guy, he became seven times Mr. Olympia. So I think he knew a few things about how you should be training. So take notes. Anyway, um, bottom line, 
when you squat, always make sure that you're hitting parallel. Always make sure that your hips are going lower than your knees when looking from the side. Um, you got to make sure that every single rep is like that. You also got to make sure that you're squatting every single week. Uh, quite frankly, never nothing that I ever did in the gym before I started to squat ever worked. Uh, you got to squat, period. If you don't know how to do this, if you don't know how to include the squat into your training program, check out my free Strongly 5x5 program on my website. It's a simple program to gain muscle and strength while burning fat without using drugs or steroids, of course, and training only three times a week. You can get a free ebook on my website, strongly.com, that explains this workout, and you can get it for free at no cost or no obligation. Just go to strongly.com, click free report at the top, enter your first name and email, and then I'll send you your report to your mailbox. I'll even give you a free spreadsheet as well as a, a free app to track your workouts on your, on your phone, all to thank you for checking my website. So just go to strongly.com and claim your free report. And remember, when you squat, always make sure that you hit parallel, always make sure that your hips are going lower than your knees. Okay, that was it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you soon and keep squatting and stay strong. Eh? Bye bye.